Hello everyone, welcome to round two of the chess.com uh, blitz tournament that I'm playing. So you can see the previous video linked in the playlist below. Now, why am I starting with a minute 30 off the clock? Well, I was analyzing the previous game in another tab at the end of the last video, which again, you should check out if you haven't seen it yet. And I completely forgot that... Um, I wouldn't be notified if a new round had started because I was on another tab. So, okay. Opponent's playing the Karo Khan. And I really like this obscure gambit against the Karo. Now, normally you play this against the French defense. Reason being because the E4 pawn is very difficult to defend because the pawn is on E6 so the bishop can't come to F5. In the Karo Khan, the bishop can come to F5. So you have to root the knight through E2 to G3. Put pressure on the bishop and then bring your queen to e2 to win the pawn back. So it's similar to the gambit against the French, but not exactly the same. So I'm just going to get the pawn back. Um, we are actually here threatening knight to z6 checkmate. We are again threatening knight d 6 checkmate. But I mean, my opponent would have to play a very strange move for that to actually happen. He gives us the light squared bishop, which I'm happy about. Um, I think probably dropping back to f3. Now, if I take, he would have to take with the g pawn because the e pawn is pinned. But I also don't want to trade off my strong bishop. This is a very powerful bishop, so I don't see a point in giving it up. Um, it's not obvious where to put the queen, actually. I'd like to put it on e3, but it's vulnerable to the knight. So let's go to f3. This bishop... I think I might put on d3 because on c4 it's kind of vulnerable to b5 moves. I'm going to castle first and then I'm going to decide. I'm expecting queen a5, which threatens the a2 pawn, but also threatens bishop to a3 trading the bishops. So bishop to queen to a5 is basically always met with king to b1, so that if bishop a3, you can play bishop to a1. Good thing to know if you want to play this opening. Again, it's a strange opening, but it's quite fun. I'm going to go bishop d3. Just set up the snipers against my opponent's position. And if he castles, I'm very, very tempted to try and lift this rook. Okay, yeah, we have queen a5 as expected. Again, do not allow bishop a3 with a pin on the bishop. You need to move your king so your bishop can drop back. And you're not really in any danger. Um because the bishop defends the dark squares very nicely. Now you have to be careful about potentially trading off your dark square bishop, but as long as it's on a1, it can still do its defensive duties, so you do not need to worry. I wouldn't be surprised if my opponent castles queenside here and tries to take a bit of a safer option. Honestly, that's probably the way to go. Okay, queen to d5, offering a queen trade. I don't really want a queen trade, to be honest. So I'm going to play queen g3 and decline. Attack g7. Put a bit of pressure on this diagonal, but I mean, if my opponent castles, I can't do anything anyway. The king isn't moving through the checking square, so it's perfectly legal. Uh, it doesn't matter if the rook is moving through a square that's attacked. All that matters is the king. So... If I was attacking c8 or d8, then you couldn't castle, but I'm not. Okay, he goes for it. All right, well, 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 well. I'm going to go rook d to e1 because rook to e5 looks pretty tempting. Now, bishop d6, yeah, is what my opponent plays. I think f4 should work. Just to block the attack. Yeah, knight g4, okay. Now, how do we continue? How do we continue? Hmm. could go c4 to attack my opponent's queen. Something like queen to c5. Uh, 
and then maybe bishop to e2 to attack the knight and put pressure on h5. Oh, I'm also down to a minute, and um, I only have, by the way, bishops defended by the queen, and I only actually have, um, uh, what am I going to say? One minute left to play the game, because I have no increment, which I completely forgot about. So this is going to be a bit of a scramble. It's for scramble. Okay, let's start by defending this. I kind of want to do this. Let's drop the bishop back. Maybe I go d4, we'll see. We'll see. Let's drop back. Oh, I realized I just gave this pawn up. That was silly. That was silly. That's what happens when you have no time, ladies and gents. We still have a potentially deadly attack, though. We have a lot of pieces pointed at my opponent. Let's go queen to d3. Oh, it might have been better to go here and after here go there. Trap the bishop. That might have been better. Oh, we might still be able to do that, actually. Let's say f5. Okay, well, my opponent just blunders mate in one. So <laughs> that makes my life a lot easier. Uh, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick analysis like we did in the last video. But I'm going to have to switch back to this tab every now and again. Or we can just do the analysis on this tab, actually. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. So when the new game starts, I'll just end the video. And tomorrow's video, uh, if you're watching this one at the time of posting, will be on the third round. Currently, two for two. So that's beautiful. Like I said, this opening, it basically, you just sack the e4 pawn, but you win it back. h4 threatens h5 to trap the bishop. H6 can be met with H5, kicking the bishop back first, just gaining a bit of space. So we win the E4 pawn back, trade everything. Computer likes queen to E2, which seems very strange to me, blocking in this bishop. But it like it wants to go like G3, bishop G2. Anyway, I think this is played fine. Um, queen G3, castles. Here I have a massive advantage, but I needed to find queen g5. Ah, see. So I'm threatening the knight, but you can't take because of hg. This is under attack. This is under attack. So after the knight moves, rook h5, this rook's going to come to h1, and these bishops are going to absolutely destroy black. So I didn't see that. And also, if like f6 is played, then g3 keeps the king locked in jail. So it's going to be very difficult for black to defend. And he's probably going to have to give up some material to do it. Although knight f4, rook h7 here, and he just gets mated. So like, there is just not that much you can do. I'm just checking that there are still games going on. Uh, okay, knight g4. We don't manage this in the best way. Bishop f4 actually overloads the queen here. But he doesn't find it. Takes, takes, takes. Here I could have actually traded queens. Gone rook d7 and been better. Although, I don't know if I've really had enough time to try and convert a position like this. So I went for the more aggressive option. Here I was expecting f5. Okay, no, next game was started. So I'll see you in tomorrow's video. So far though, two out of two. Let's see if we can keep the streak up. Thank you very much for watching.